The German Shepherd is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. This versatile breed serves in the army, helps at customs, performs various tasks for many different intelligence agencies, and even in cinema, German Shepherds are the most frequent and popular actors. In various detective stories it is German Shepherds help in the plot to unravel various crimes. But what is the reason for such popularity of this breed? Are they really as smart and quick-witted as they are shown on the screen? In this video, we will try to figure it out. It's easy to guess that the first puppy appeared in Germany. The distant ancestors of the German Shepherd were first described in the chronicles of the 7th century. It was just a shepherd dog on the territory of one of the German principalities. It did not have much in common with the modern breed, and it was still not the kind of dog that could be recognized as familiar today German Shepherd. If we talk about the dog in its modern form, then it is worth going so far into history, namely the end of the 19th century. The German breeder Max Friedrich von Stefanitz, a student at the Berlin Veterinary College, was very concerned about developing a new breed that would become the superman of herding dogs. The dog had to be smart, very obedient and strong and athletic enough to handle sheep. In the process of breeding the breed, shepherd dogs from central and southern Germany were used. The first cable named Greif was shown at the Hanover Exhibition in 1882, and later, after receiving recognition, it was he who was included in the title of the general pedigree of the breed and the appearance of the German Shepherd that is familiar today starts from him. The Shepherd dog was initially supposed to perform its main working function, that is, to herd sheep well. She had to be fast, strong and smart. The dog had to sense danger, and also understand its shepherd, which made herding more effective, and this is exactly what the new breed turned out to be German Shepherds are among the top three most intelligent dogs in the world. At the beginning of the 19th century, production began to actively develop, the number of livestock for grazing was reduced, and shepherd dogs could well have been left without work if not for their charming character. In the 20th century, new uses were found for them. Due to the fact that the shepherd dog is highly trainable, and the breed itself develops well and quickly through hard training and further selection, the breeders managed to make the dog even more resilient, strong and prone to training. This laid the foundation for professional reorientation. Shepherd dogs began to serve in the army and in the police. During World War II, shepherd dogs worked as sappers, postmen, couriers, and signalmen. Specially trained orderly dogs also played an important role. They went out onto the battlefield with a special medical kit and found the wounded by the smell of blood so that the fighter himself or his comrades nearby could provide first aid. Perhaps the most famous shepherd dog that went through the war was the dog Zolbars. Of all the dogs that took part in the war, only the shepherd dog Zolbars was awarded the medal for military merit. He discovered about 7,500,000 mines and more than 150 shells. The preservation of the grave of Tara Shevchenko and the Vladimir Cathedral in Kiev is his merit. In addition, Zolbars participated in demoning the palaces of Prague and Vienna. The inscription on the wall No Mines Verified by Jelbas was a guarantee of the quality of the work done. The final court of the war was the legendary Victory Parade that took place on June 24, 1945. Among the many participants in this significant event was the Central School of Military Dog Breeding. All the dogs were specially selected to participate in the parade. All had a rich track record, and the famous mine detector Zulbars was supposed to be in these ranks. However, he could not independently take part in the ceremonial procession as part of the School of Military Dogs, since shortly before the end of the war he was wounded and had not yet recovered from his injuries. The head of the dog breeding school, Major General Grigory Medvedev, conveyed this information to the head of the parade, Marshal Konstantin Rokossovsky. He, in turn, notified Joseph Stalin, who ordered the wounded animal to be carried across Red Square in his arms. Which is what was done. The heroic dog with bandaged paws and a proudly raised muzzle was carried by the commander of the 37th Separate Mine Clearance Battalion, Major Alexander Mazover. Fortunately, the dog managed to recover from his injuries and even became a movie star. He starred in the famous film based on Jack London's novel White Fang. Many German shepherds took part in World War II on various fronts. After the war the breed almost disappeared. A huge number of shepherd dogs died in battles, and breeders had no time to engage in quality breeding. The breed had to be revived almost from the ashes. 
and the division of Germany led to the fact that dogs were revived according to different standards, and several subspecies of the breed appeared. The main feature of the breed is loyalty and unconditional obedience. Shepherd dogs are very loyal, so it is better for them to have one owner. They have a hard time with the change or death of their owners. This kind of loyalty makes the dog more willing to carry out tasks accurately. German Shepherds are excellent watchmen and security guards, they are psychologically stable and are not hysterical in situations that are new to them. But do not forget that all the positive qualities inherent in the breed are revealed only with proper training you cannot leave a puppy without training, relying only on natural talents. Usually, future owners are advised to undergo dog training courses with an instructor, even if the dog will never participate in competitions. The shepherd dog is genetically aimed at protecting what is its own, and if this point is not worked out in childhood, then the possibility of raising a dog aggressive towards strangers greatly increases. According to the standard, the color of a German shepherd can be quite different gray, red, brown, or black. During the development of the breed and the formation of the standard, white color was excluded as defective. That is, white shepherds lost points. In the USA and Canada, on the contrary, Breeders purposefully bred a white shepherd dog, so in the 60s of the 20th century the white dog Lobo appeared. He was brought to Switzerland and continued breeding, marking the beginning of a new breed of the white Swiss shepherd. As already mentioned, German shepherds are the most popular actors in films, among many other breeds, perhaps only the German shepherd can be entrusted with the main role around which the entire plot is built, as is the case, for example, with the TV series Commissioner Rex. But long before Commissioner Rex, there was a dog movie actor who even has a star on the Walk of Fame and is even credited with saving Warner Brothers from bankruptcy, but first things first. During World War I, American Corporal Lee Duncan picked up a German Shepherd puppy from the ruins of a house in France. Even before the war, he wanted to breed German Shepherd dogs in America, but the war changed his plans. He named the puppy he found Rin Tin Tin and the dog joined the ranks of the army. Rin Tin Tin helped the signalmen until the end of the war, and Duncan noticed that the dog was very smart and easy to train. After the war, Duncan took the dog to his homeland in California. In America, Rin Tin Tin took part in many dog shows and competitions, and at one of these shows he amazed everyone when he easily overcame a high barrier that other dogs could not jump over. After this, film producer Charles Jones invited Duncan to make a film about Rin Tin Tin. The film was called Rainty, and the dog received his first fee in the amount of $350. In 1922, Duncan was at the right time and in the right place, when the then young company Warner Brothers was losing money and was on the verge of closing. At the film studio they tried to film a scene with the participation of a wolf, who did not want to obey the director's demands. Duncan suggested Rin Tin Tin for the role of the wolf, and as a result, a film called The Man from Hell's River in which Rin Tin Tin starred was a great success, and the dog actor became a sensation and a hero who helped the Warner Brothers company take its rightful place in Hollywood and escape from bankruptcy. A stellar career followed, the dog starred in 26 films, and even earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Rin Tin Tin was very popular, his image was on cards and badges, Rin Tin Tin toys and figurines were released, he was a comic book hero and fans sent him thousands of letters a day. Rin Tin Tin even signed contracts himself, leaving a paw print on the official paper. Duncan loved the dog very much, he did not strive for personal glory at all, and treated the shepherd dog as his best friend. After Rin Tin Tin's death in 1932, Duncan was left with Rin Tin Tin II, and later Rin Tin Tin III, descendants of the star dog. During World War II, Lee Duncan took over as chief war dog instructor for the U.S. Army. In the 1950s, two descendants of the star dog played the adventure of Rin Tin Tin in the series. Another shepherd dog named Palma became known throughout the world thanks to its devotion to its owner a film of the same name was made about this story. A shepherd named Palma became famous thanks to a heartwarming story similar to the story of Hachiko. This story took place in the USSR in 1976. The IL-18 plane was boarding, flying somewhere to the north. People hurried after the flight attendant, eager to be the first to sit in the quiet seats in the back. Only one passenger was in no hurry. He let everyone through because he was flying with a dog. 
airfield technicians, witnesses to this story, claimed that the man had a ticket for the dog, but the shepherd was not allowed on the plane, there was no doctor's certificate. The man proved something, persuaded. He didn't persuade. Then, at Nukovo Airport, he hugged the dog, took off the collar, and walked up the ramp. The shepherd dog, deciding that it had been let out for a walk, ran around the plane, and when it returned to its place, the ramp had been removed. She stood and looked at the closed door. Then she ran along the runway after the honking plane. She ran after him as long as she could, and then the dog was left on an empty runway. And she began to wait. Soon at the airport, passengers getting off the ramp began to notice a shepherd dog below, closely watching the people descending, many thought that it was just a service dog working at the airport, this dog met every IL-18, and while waiting lived under the trailer on the flight field, a year later the dog still met every plane, all the pilots already knew this story, many wanted to take the dog for themselves, but the dog did not come close to anyone. I only made friends with one technician, but I didn't go far with him either, apparently I was afraid of missing the next plane. This story was published in the newspaper, in the hope that the owner whose dog was waiting would be found, but he never got in touch, each pilot was ready to take the dog on board and deliver it to the owner, but he was apparently afraid of condemnation from people and did not dare to announce about me. When the story became public in the newspapers, bags of letters poured into the editor. Readers unanimously asked to give them the dog. As a result, Palma, as airport workers began to call the dog, was taken to Kiev by Vera Kotlyarevskaya, an associate professor at the Pedagogical Institute. By the time the woman, with the help of airport employees, reached Palma, the dog was frightened by the excessive attention of both sympathizers and active specialists in catching stray animals it was necessary to overcome the dog's wariness and gain its trust. The matter was complicated. Kotlyarevskaya spent days with Palma from dawn to dusk, showing patience and tact. The day of evacuation has arrived. The shepherd was given a sleeping pill and carried onto the plane. At first, Palma felt uncomfortable in her new key of home, but gradually began to settle in. Later, Palma gave three puppies to the Kotlyarevsky family that sheltered her. German Shepherds are also popular because they are a truly universal breed they feel great in a city apartment and can live just as well in the courtyard of a country house. The main feature of this breed is that it is very trainable, it quickly remembers commands once the dog has learned them, it understands what they want from it even after a long pause in training. German Shepherds have a reserved character when playing with children in their family a properly raised dog will not allow itself to snap even if the child behaves too annoyingly. And of course, German Shepherds are unsurpassed protectors. The fury of a German Shepherd is enough for a gang of robbers, and the affection is enough for all family members. This breed is very active, it requires increased physical activity, so if the dog lives in an enclosure, it is recommended to let it run around the area. The ideal option is a double fence, between which the dog will patrol the area around the perimeter and will not enter the flower beds or beds when it's not needed. Friends, thank you for watching to the end, your support in the form of likes is very important to us, so it's time to click on this button, also write in the comments what breed you have, what breeds you like the most, and what breeds you want to see new ones about releases. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.